Hey guys, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours and today we're making some hot pepper sauce. You can call this pretty much hot sauce, a chili sauce, um, hot pepper sauce like I call it, whatever you want to call it, right? But just know that it's very spicy. And just to note, when you're handling hot peppers, you should either probably wear a glove if you don't want to get burned, but nobody wants to get burned, or you can simply put a little bit of oil in your hands like I have, or add a little bit of water to it and make sure you do not touch your eyes. So that's just a little fair warning. And by the way, I'm using Scotch Bonnet today. In this colander, I've got three pounds approximately of freshly washed scotch bonnet and I've still kept them whole. I've just cut open a couple on the top so that you can see. And of course the heat is really inside of those veins with those seeds. Now we're blending all of these babies up together because again we want the heat. It is hot pepper sauce, right? Now what do we have here? I've got my trusty blender that I'm going to use to puree all of our ingredients. And of course, I've got a nice bowl over here, which I'm going to transfer these ingredients to. And now let's go over what I've got here. Let's see, we've started off here our ingredients. We're going to start off with our three pounds of hot peppers, and I'm using Scotch Bonnet today. In this platter here, let's go over. I have one large red bell pepper chopped up and a half of an orange or rather yellow bell pepper chopped up. I've got five ounces of julienne carrots, one entire head of garlic that's peeled, one full lime that's been chopped up. I've got, I have, we've got actually one whole lemon, which I'm gonna just use the juice of the lemon. I've got one tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of demerara cane sugar, which is basically brown sugar. And I've also got here one cup of white distilled vinegar. Now at the end of this, we're gonna know if we need more vinegar or not, but our vinegar is basically going to be the liquid that we're going to use to loosen up this mixture as we get this all blended together. And this is my trusty little squeezer for my lemon. Now let's get started. I'm gonna start by adding our garlic in here. And then we're gonna follow this up with some of that lime. We're gonna add a little bit of those carrots as well. There we go. And we go there. We're gonna add some of these bell peppers, not all of them, just a little bit. And now we're gonna start with some of those hot peppers, right? And we're gonna pile this up to the top. There we go. I'm gonna keep on adding. Nice, nicely done. Now I'm going to add my sugar. In it goes our sugar. And I'm also going to add our salt. In goes our salt. Now I'm going to add the juice of my lemon. That's one half. other half in. There we go. Get this baby nicely squeezed in. I'm gonna put a lid on this. So we're gonna pop a lid on this baby here. Here we go. And let's just start on the lowest. There we go. We're gonna add a little bit of moisture now. And that's some of that white vinegar we talked about before. Half of that in there. So that's about a half a cup I poured in. Now let's try this again. My apologies for the blender sound, but it's necessary evil right now. And it is looking gorgeous. Look at that beautiful color. Beauteous color indeed. Do not try smelling that, it will put a hurting on you. And our 
pepper sauce is looking beautiful. It's gorgeous and blended. Oh, <clears throat> I'll tell you, do not stick your nose in there. Do not try to smell it. It will burn you. You will get such a bite in the back of your throat. It will not be funny. So we're just gonna add a few more peppers. Put a lid on again. And we're gonna send it away, lowest setting. And our pepper sauce looks amazing. I'm just gonna get this first batch out. Oh boy, do not smell it. Please do not do that. It is very hot. Get that back there. And let's get you guys in for a nice tight shot of what this looks like. How gorgeous is that? Look at that. Mm. Nice and perfect. Now this is about the consistency. I like this, so see, it's not too watery. But I'm just gonna use this type of consistency for my sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up back that blender and get started again. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more ingredients back again to this blender. I actually poured back a quarter of the already made and blended up uh, pepper sauce because I'm gonna use that as a bit of more liquid. I'm gonna add some more of the limes. There we go. A bit more of those carrots in there. Some more peppers. This will be in the last batch. And let's fill this up now with some hot peppers. There we go. Once again, do not touch your face at all. Do not touch any place. <laughs> Once you've touched hot peppers, you are going to be one sorry person. All right, so now let's put a lid back up on this baby. There we go. And again, no And now it's time to pour out for second batch. Let's get our bowl right here. Let's get this off. And let's pour. I do not want this anywhere near me. Yeah, that's enough. How do we gonna get ready? <coughs> yep, <coughs> do not get too close to it. Okay, I'm adding now the rest of our peppers, limes, carrots in there. There we go. Gonna add some more hot peppers now. And give this a jush. And whirl away. Whoop! Man aboard! Hot pepper even they don't want to go into the blender. I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. Now let's put this on and away we go. Gonna add the rest of the peppers to this little trusty hole up top. There we go. Yep, I do not want to be choking on this again. And give it a whirl. All right, guys, so our pepper sauce, hot sauce, chili sauce, whatever you'd like to call it, is done and it looks gorgeous. It's got a beautiful orange color and I am liking the consistency. It's a little runny, but not too runny. I ended up using only a half a cup of the white distilled vinegar. I like this consistency, which it's not too thick, it's not too thin. Now, one thing I am going to mention to you, you probably would think it's odd. Why is she putting sweet peppers in here? Well, that's to add as a little thickener, but it also adds as a little bit of a sweetness to this pepper sauce to kind of help to round out the flavors as well. You might also ask, why did she add sugar? It's not a cake. Well, it's certainly not a cake what sugar does in addition to rounding out the bite from this hot pepper sauce that gets you in the back of the throat 
it actually works as a preservative in this pepper sauce. So when you put this in a bottle and you put it in a refrigerator, it can last for months and months and months at a time. So I am liking this. This looks amazing. And like I said, <laughs> Do not touch your eyes, do not touch any of your body parts when you're handling hot peppers. It is not smart. Now, some people may like a little bit of a chunkier pepper sauce. I prefer more of a smooth consistency like I have it here. It's smooth and it's a little bit somewhat thick. This is the way I like to have my pepper sauce. And I think it's amazing. It's got this beautiful orange color which is from those carrots as well. And carrots also work as a beautiful way of adding a slight sweetness and taking away that bite from the pepper sauce. Now it's still going to be pretty hot, but it just adds a bit more of a sophisticated taste to this pepper sauce. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my jars and we'll come back and let you know pretty much uh, how many jars I ended up getting out of this. So guys, I managed to get three bottles out of this, two very large bottles and one smaller bottle. I have no idea how much the ounces are on this, but it's quite large. Take a look. And how beautiful is that color look, huh? Gorgeous, that gorgeous orangey color. Let me tell you, I tasted it. Tasted amazing. But Oh, it's hot. It is totally hot. And there you have it. Pepper sauce, a la mama style, or you can call it chili sauce or hot sauce, whatever floats your boat. Wow, take a chunk, take a good look. Beauteous. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, follow, share, 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 share. And once again, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. Happy cooking, y'all.